Hey, what's up guys, it's Adri here, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss whether university is worth it or not as a European. We see nowadays so many financial gurus, uh, such as Dan Locke and many others, uh, that try to say that university is not worth it just because there is a high tuition fee that most people cannot afford and they have to undergo that and that's actually true i mean to go into one two hundred thousand dollars or even euros uh, if you have to compare it with uh, ivy league um, schooling it's not worth it honestly because most of these uh, degrees do not mean that they are going to make you an expert in your field Unless uh, we are talking about a regulated profession by law, such as uh, being uh, um, a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, a um, psychologist, uh, I don't know what else. Yeah, usually this stuff. Um, yeah, you need that degree, of course. But in order to become anything else, yeah, you pretty much don't. You just have to go to take some online courses and that's all. I mean, you can do it online nowadays. There are so many online universities and the tuition fee is much lower. You just have to be consistent and believe in yourself and read your books no matter what. Just be consistent and you'll get the same type of information. Of course, there is another thing that you have to consider. Some people are naturally driven by social status and some... Um, <laughs> some appurtenance to an umbrella institution gives certain people a sense of life, a meaning in their life. And I agree, I think you can also agree with that, it's just natural. This is how we people are designed to be, to live in tribes and get social approval. I mean, that's all. Anyway, we are going to discuss something uh, way more important here such as is university worth it in Europe or not and I'm not going to delve into the American uh, concept because I do not live there and I don't have any kind of experience with the USA besides uh, the US stock market which is basic reading I mean you just apply the same formula everywhere in the world that's nothing else but when we discuss about education I tend to understand way better the system in Europe because I'm a European law student in the Netherlands and I am from Romania I am very interested about education I mean if I would work in the government Maybe I would go for the Ministry of Education, Justice, Foreign Affairs, something like that. Nothing else interests me in the public field. But I don't know where life will lead me, but I'm just saying that education is one of my main concerns. So as a law student, I'm going to present you the disadvantages of university and the disadvantages. Let's go with the positive aspects now. First, which is straightforward, university graduates earn more. This is what every single research in this field proves. So I'm not going to waste your time on this. Usually in Europe, um, any university um, graduate, so at least with bachelor, uh, is going to earn at least 18% uh, more than those without. That's not much but we talk about the uh, social stat status uh, jobs here so you are going to usually work at office and not go out there of course there are people that prefer going out there on the street real life work uh, but there are some others that simply like me i mean i i enjoy that but i prefer to work at the office i just like a desk and that's it yeah the second thing that is very important is the fact that a university offers you better job prospects. I mean, certain fields are highly required to employ people with degrees. I mean, this is usually the law. It's not a must-have, but companies tend to trust graduates more because they are able 
to perform tasks better and be more open to suggestions, to feedback, to everything else. And feedback is very important, especially when you combine it with critical thinking. That's how we mm, progress. Third on my list is networking. University provides you with the opportunity to meet awesome people. I mean, you are going to hate many people, honestly. Maybe not hate, but just dislike, not enjoy their presence. Of course, it happens everywhere, every day. But you are going to meet certain people that will form your whole network. I mean, your network is your net worth after all. You have to have friends such as lawyers, doctors, engineers, architects, uh, uh, people at uh, administration, any type, any type of administration. Uh, I don't know what else. What else? What else? What else? L let, let me know what uh, other types. I mean, I, I'm a law student. Most of my friends are doing law, and some of them. Uh, from high school do um, um, medicine. I have other friends that are architects uh, or want to be architects. What else? What I have? Engineers, of course, police officers, but these are more like acquaintances, not like friends. Yeah, I don't know. Usually most of my friends, my good friends are lawyers. Wanna be, of course. <laughs> they have to take uh, the bar exam first. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. I mean, networking is why people usually go to a university in the first place, besides earning that degree that will make their life better in terms of job perspectives. Yeah. Then, you are allowed to discover more. That's the fourth on my list. You are allowed to, to discover what you like and what you don't like and how you're going to do that by just studying basic courses. You are going to um, be led in a pool and you are going to choose your own subjects that you are most interested in. Of course, there are some compulsory courses, but uh, usually after the second year, you are going to choose your electives. And this is why you have to be really careful uh, if uh, you are in high school right now, uh, when you choose your university, because you need as many electives as possible there. I mean. My university is just on the line. I think that they will need... I'm at Maastricht University in the Netherlands, by the way. Um, they need more electives, at, at least for uh, the law faculty. That, that's my opinion. I don't know what other people think, but I think that I've been quite constrained of choosing uh, two courses by period because we have six periods and we have exams at every single uh, two months mm. and I've been uh, constrained to choose uh, two courses for instance the, uh, this year out of usually four five six of course there were more courses available but these were the ones that actually worth it I mean it's a trouble to study after all and you want to do something meaningful with your life you don't want to study something but that doesn't make sense just for the credits right besides the skills you are going to develop of course because you follow that curriculum this is the fifth uh, point i think is the fifth right yeah um you're going to learn transferable skills such as motivation um, team working work ethic which is tremendously important and the best one, in my opinion at least, is great resilience. I, I am 100% sure when I say that law school develops great resilience. So if you are a law student or you want to do that, that's what I think that you agree on. You need great resilience and in these circumstances, this year, last year, we developed something that many other generations uh, do not have. Because it's quite hard to study at home, but we survived. We are here and I hope that will end up soon. But 
Do just remember, great resilience is important. Of course, I'm not uh, just promoting law school here. I'm just talking about university, but this is my own uh, perspective. So that's it. Oh, one more bonus uh, in terms of the advantages. You are going to become a truly independent human being. I mean that for real. You're going to know how to budget things. You learn uh, practical things like changing the light bulb. <laughs> yeah, you're going to learn how to pay taxes if you take a, a part-time job as a student. Um, you have a lot of time uh, to meet new people and uh, start a side hustle to discover your passions to try new things, to live in, uh, in a new city. Yes, you will, you will also appreciate more the traditions like uh, Christmas. You're going uh, to come happier at home at your parents. You're going to change the view of how you see life, honestly. I mean, university is definitely worth it. It might be expensive, but in Europe it's not. If we take out uh, the UK and Switzerland, yeah, I think that's all right, yeah. If we take out uh, these two uh, countries, the rest is just fine. I mean, the tuition fee is around 2,000 euros and that's not much, honestly. I mean, especially in Eastern Europe, you could also get a PhD by 25 with less than 60,000 euros. With that money, you would get maybe one year of college in the US. Maybe, I don't know. But I think I'm quite right there. So just think, why say that university in Europe is a great opportunity? It just forms you as a person. It gives you personality. You meet people, you live by yourself, you learn practical things that school didn't teach you, and you get many perspectives for life. You have much to see honestly i still have a lot to see to meet i, I i'm i can't wait for uh, starting the masters now so yeah i'm going um, also in the netherlands to study that i'm going to do a law and tech masters i hope i'll meet other people that i can relate to i mean university also lets you relate with pain <laughs> which is quite pessimistic of me saying that but it's just truth I mean pain creates strong links between people especially between peers yeah yeah I can't uh, stop the... yeah yeah I'm going to do this sorry now when we discuss about disadvantages of university we have to firstly consider that uh, for certain people of course most of the people actually um, university is expensive. I mean, it is expensive. Even in Europe, you need around anywhere between 10, 12 to 20 as an average thousand euros in order to survive and pay the tuition fees, to travel at home, to... Sometimes you get sick, of course, you have to buy pills, go to the doctor, especially in, ne in the Netherlands where many people go for knee injuries to a hospital or... yeah. That's a fun experience, I can guarantee you. When you're patched up and sent home with a paracetamol pill and you're told to drink some tea and put some ice. Thanks, doc. I could have done that for myself. Yeah, terrific experience, honestly. Especially if you ask for an ambulance when you have to pay around. I don't want to be mistaken. I think it's seven or eight, uh, 800 euros to call that. Yeah, great. And we are joking about the American health system, right? I think we don't deserve it. Yeah. Anyway, second on my list is um, the fact that university can make you change your mind. Because you see that what you chose to study doesn't make at all sense for you. And it just makes you miserable when studying. So it makes just sense to drop out and watch your life. <laughs> and change another path because eventually you're going to make it honestly yeah. there's no other way you are going to survive honestly <laughs> with or without university it's just about perspectives here 
Uh, then, what else? University. Oh, university does not guarantee you a job. You have to know that in advance. You're not going uh, to be employed uh, just like that. <laughs> you have to file so many CVs out there in the application and you're going to see. Thank you for your application. Uh, thank you so much for your time. But I think um, this uh, job application um, does not suit your profile or something like that uh, in nicer or worse terms. It depends on the company usually. And as a law student, I can say that finding a vacation scheme is like going through hell and purgatory, go back to hell, to heaven for a second when you get back a reply and then back to straight to hell and just it sucks you out of life, honestly. I mean, it's so hard because there's such a high competition in this field, but if you make it, it's worth it. I mean, I just like this field. I, I like law and investing. These are my two things. And of course, uh, there are many other things, but I'm not going to discuss those right now. But these are my main concerns. Next, university can um, stop your career progress, especially if you are working before, because certain uh, nationalities uh, tend to take a gap year between high school and university. And then they travel and they, they have some spare time, meanwhile, and they start a side hustle or they start a job, a summer job or whatever. And they are offered a better position to continue, but then they want to go to, I can't say go back, but that's actually how it feels, I think. I, I don't do that. Um, I just went straight to the college. Um, university, sorry. We don't, uh, I don't think we have college in uh, continental Europe. Yeah. I'm, it's just faculty for us. Anyway. Yeah, so it stops your career progress sometimes. Not everybody, because if you don't have a career before university, you don't have something to, <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, then the last thing that I want to mention because it um, goes down to being human. Mm, studying for a degree can be a stressful and suffering experience, honestly. I mean, you have to spend late nights in certain domains you have to do calculations you have to go through civil codes uh, you have to uh, learn uh, nerves you have to what else i'm just thinking about this free traditional <laughs> uh, sectors yeah jobs yeah but usually th this is how i spend my nights it's like let me check it's 2 a.m and i'm filming this video because I don't have time during the day. I'm doing everything very late. I have to study. This is pretty much my day here in this corner. I'm just going out, especially nowadays. I'm going to eat, to take a shower, to run a bit and do some exercises every uh, two days at least in order to at least 10, 15, 30 minutes ideally when I have more time left on hand but usually around uh, 15 I force myself to do a program because I just put the music up I turn it up very loud and do my stuff yeah but honestly university develops great resilience and consistency and these two are elements that uh, will usually uh, teach people to take wise decisions for their life because they know the consequences whether when they just do what they want i mean we have not animals we are not what we eat we we have conscience and studying brings that up finally as a verdict i'm going to say that university is worth it and not it depends on the person if you are somebody that um, wants to go conservative way university is just for you and you are also open to find new things and you are keen to collaborate and compound your knowledge with somebody else's well i would recommend university but if you don't like school in general you 
have certainly way better alternative especially if you care about making money for me i'm just in the middle money doesn't uh, drive me honestly um, money is just an util let, let me say it in French, util so it's just a means to an end i don't care about that that much but uh, actually what I care is knowledge and information that's where my mind is every single moment I like doing research I honestly do that I like sharing information I like sharing impressions opinions experiences yeah that's why I actually do these videos and if you like and or you if you found something interesting here just let me know down below in the comments or hit the like uh, button smash the like button as I always say I'm sorry I'm so tired today I don't know what's this uh, mood of me yeah so smash the like button here we go and uh, subscribe in order to follow me in my journey because I can't wait to finish with the bachelor degree there are two months left and have a well-deserved break I mean I really want that summer to be spent very wisely on my self-care because guys it's important to take care of yourself of your mind of your body of your soul getting emotional anyway um, that's all for today guys you decide what you have to do with your life but that's my opinion on university and for me it's worth it because I like researching and I like uh, going through steps from the lowest to the highest. Um, I would also like to do even an advanced master or PhD maybe one day, I don't know. Uh, but we'll see, I hope to leave. I'm just praying for some, mm, don't know, guidance, divine guidance. <laughs> but uh, no, no, actually I believe in myself, uh, but I don't uh, deny anything else that's beyond reality I mean that's it anyway uh, the subject is for another day that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and have a nice day please subscribe and smash the like button again and don't forget to leave me a comment because I promise I will reply to every single one of you till the next time